So NVIDIA partners Galax and Gainward have released BIOSes for the GeForce RTX 3090, RTX 3080, RTX 3070, and the RTX 3060 Ti graphics cards, which support the resizable BAR feature, or rebar, as we're gonna call it. The RTX 3060 is so far the only GeForce RTX 30 series graphics card that supported resizable bar, but NVIDIA AIBs are now releasing BIOS support for the rest of the cards. Both Gainward and Galax are NVIDIA's first partners to release the respective vBIOSes for their RTX 3090, 3080, 3070, and 3060 Ti GPUs. While the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 comes with rebar support right out of the box, users running the rest of the GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards will have to manually update the vBIOS to enable support for this feature. Now updating the vBIOS on graphics cards is not complicated, but there is a little bit of risk involved. The thing that makes updating the BIOS on a graphics card a little bit more risky than a motherboard is most graphics cards don't come with a dual BIOS design. So if you accidentally lose power on your PC, or things go haywire during the process, well, you're pretty much gonna break your card. Now, that is only for the time being because, well, if you have an alternative display adapter, then a, the savvy of you will be able to recover the card, but given the state of the market right now, a number of folks with extra graphics cards is likely slim. Now, Intel users might just find a lifeline in that integrated GPU that hasn't, well, done much over the time. But installing the BIOS on an unsupported graphics card is also not recommended. Only those models that are listed for support should be updated with their respective BIOSes. Now users CoolDogMan16 over on the NVIDIA subreddit via Sebastian Castellanos states that NVIDIA and the rest of the AIBs will be releasing the respective vBIOSes for the Founders Editions and various custom models by the end of March or upcoming Tuesday, which is tomorrow from now. Now, EVGA has stated that they will be releasing the BIOS for their GeForce RTX 30 series graphics cards tomorrow on Tuesday as well, mentioned in their own tweet. Now, the vBIOS file comes packaged within a DOS-built firmware updater, which checks if a firmware update is needed for your GeForce RTX 30 series GPU and proceeds to give you the option to apply that update. Now, once again, a warning is given that losing power will result in damage to the graphics card, so you know, now another Redditor that goes by the name of El Maximo Bango has updated his Galax GeForce RTX 3090 SG graphics card and posted a screenshot which shows the NVIDIA GPU BIOS firmware has indeed been updated and now supports resizable bar. Now you can find the BIOS in the download links provided in the article linked below. Once again, use them at your own risk and make sure that you're using the correct graphics card version that is listed in the support panel. In our own testing, we found the NVIDIA resizable bar technology to provide a decent boost in performance in our custom GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. Now you can check that here on the channel if you want to, but even video cards has gone on to show where results have already been posted for an RTX 3090 running at 4K has seen about a 3.9 to 4% performance uplift in the games that's listed. Now remember, NVIDIA is only whitelisting games going forward that benefit from resizable bar rather than just having it generally on because even the guys over at Hardware Unboxed have found there are times where resizable bar or smart access memory rather on the Radeon side can actually degrade performance from time to time. So it's very interesting to see how they're handling the situation. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.